Hello everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and in this Cinema 4D tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make this very simple gift box and putting together a relatively nice uh, scene here. And it's a very simple tutorial, but it can still teach you a few things. So I'm just going to create a new file here. And the first thing we want to do is just add in a cube. And this cube is going to just be our gift box. And I'm going to set the segments to 3, 3, and 3. The reason why I'm going to do that is that I want this middle row of these polygons to be extruded so that we get a little bit of depth. You can see in here we do have a little bit of depth between the box and the ribbon. So I'll jump back into our project here. And the way we do that is first we're going to hit C to make this object editable. And we're going to enter in polygon selection mode. Now we want to select uh, all around our object. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into select loop selection and we can select both of these loops here and you can see it goes all the way around through the bottom and all the sides. So now that we have that selected I'm going to right click and I'm going to I'm not going to extrude it because if I just say extrude you can see that what happens is uh, there's some gaps here it only brings it out it doesn't join the sides together. So I'm going to actually choose smooth shift. Now I'm going to bring this out just a little bit, maybe 1.9 centimeters, and you can see that we have a little bit of depth in between there. So I render that out, you can see we have that effect. So now I want to actually texture this now, uh, just so I don't have to do it later. So I'm just going to create two textures really quickly. One I will make uh, a nice blue color. It'll be a kind of a dark blue. Something like this. Okay. And I'm going to apply this onto the shape itself. And then I'm going to select the ribbon individually and put the other texture on that. So let me just create that other texture here. Set this to a lighter blue. I did it opposite in the other video actually, so uh, but I'll just mix it up in this one. Um, so the next thing I want to do is select those polygons. Now you can see that we created all of these little shapes when we extruded them and selecting each one of them is just going to be a pain. So I'm actually going to select everything that shouldn't be the new color and just invert it. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my selection tool and select my cube and now we only have to select a few polygons on each corner here. Uh, I just forgot to hold down shift there. Oops. And now we'll go ahead and go to the bottom of our shape and just select these four here. And now all we have to do is take that lighter color and oops let me just uh, invert that first go to select and invert and set the lighter color on there again in this one I'm doing it backwards in the other the uh, preview I had the outside lighter and the ribbon darker but it doesn't really matter whatever you want so now we have the basic shape of the box itself now what we want to do is add the top of the box so to do that all I'm going to do is copy and paste this and I'll go ahead and move this up just a little bit uh, like so actually I'll move it up here for now and uh, I want to scale it just a little bit just so that we have a little bit of a gap okay that looks about good should be about even and just refine it really quickly okay and now the next thing we want to do is this is actually this is obviously too high to just go right on top of that box however if we just scale this down we're losing that depth in between the ribbon and I don't want to do that so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep this top layer here and remove the bottom layer so I'm just going to do another inverse selection. So I'll select everything on top. 
and this is a little bit tricky to get everything in there so just try to do your best here oops don't forget to hold down shift and I think that should be everything I'm gonna go ahead and go to select invert and let's see okay we still have a a few polygons selected up here so I can hold down control and get rid of those like so and uh, just look for the orange lines don't forget the corners right there okay we should be good now so I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete and we're left with the top of our box so now I can just click on our cube bring it down and sit it on top of the box. I'm going to let it overlap just a little bit like so and that's the basic shape of our box and you can see we very very quickly made that little present in just a few minutes really uh, so now we want to just put it into a nice looking scene so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a floor object and then I'm going to go into my frontal view take both cubes and move them up so they sit on top of the floor like that go back into my perspective and I'm going to also add a sky and I'm going to create a new material make this one a little gray uh, and I'll go ahead and add in our reflection make it maybe 20 percent there and make this the floor uh, I'm gonna add in a light here Drag this up a little bit. That's okay. And I'll make this have a little bit of a blue glow. Not too much. That's good. And I'll set the intensity down. Maybe something like 80% uh, would be good. Now if we render it, it's still not looking that great. Uh, so. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to add shadow to this light, Let's add a soft shadow, and then I'm going to go into render, edit render settings, I'll add global illumination, maybe 90, no let's do 85 percent intensity, ambient occlusion, make the maximum ray length something like 35 centimeters, and what else, let's see, uh, let's see if we can just render this and see how it looks. Of course, it's going to take a few seconds since we have global illumination on. Okay, so it doesn't look like the reflection is transferring, so I'll get to that in a second. The other thing I noticed is that I don't really like when the light is right on top of it just because it's casting this huge shadow. So I'm actually going to offset this light a little bit just to give it sort of some depth to it. And I'll actually bring it forward. And now let's see, on this floor here, let's open up that texture, uh, go to the reflection, turn up the brightness a bit, and I'm also just going to make the sky a white color as well, just because. Put this on the sky, and let's see how that looks. Okay, so now you can see <clears throat> that the reflection is coming through. And the only thing is that I think the reflection is a bit too harsh, but I won't bother going in and changing and having it to render again because you basically get the point here. This is basically everything that I did in the other scene. And you can see we have a pretty nice rendering of this little box. And it only took us, you know, a few minutes to create this whole model and this whole scene. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe for more Cinema 4D and Mac related tutorials.